So today in class, I gave you the four kinematic equations. Um, they look something like this. Vf equals Vo plus acceleration times time. Delta D equals V initial plus V final divided by 2 multiplied by time. Uh, delta D equals Vot plus 1 half AT squared. And Vf squared equals Vo squared plus 2A delta D. So these four equations, whenever you're solving motion problems, these are the most widely used equations. I kind of want you to know where these four equations came from, so that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, let's remember them as 1, 2, 3, and 4 in this order. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we know these three things. We know that velocity is equal to displacement over time. We know that acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over time and that the average velocity is equivalent to the initial velocity plus the final divided by 2. So in order to find our first kinematic equation right here, Vf equals Vo plus At, we're going to rearrange our second equation. So we're going to use the second equation. Delta means change, that means final minus initial, so we're going to rewrite our equation as V final minus V initial divided by time. We're going to go ahead and solve for Vf, so multiply T on both sides, multiply T, T over T cancels, gives us AT on the left equals Vf minus Vo on the right. If we add Vo on both sides, negative Vo plus Vo is zero, so we get uh, VO plus AT on the left VO plus AT equals VF that is our sec our first equation right there VF equals VO plus AT I'll rearrange it so it looks exactly the same okay our second equation can be found by substituting um, by equating the third equation that we know for V average and our first equation, velocity. So both of these are calculations for velocity. So let's go ahead and set those equivalent to each other. Velocity equals V average, and I just substitute what they're equal to in the equation. Delta D over T equals um, V initial plus V final divided by two. We're gonna go ahead and solve for delta D. Um, so we can multiply T on both sides, multiply T, we're left with delta D equals V initial plus V final over 2 times time. There is our second equation. Now our third and fourth equation actually come from our kinematic equations that we just derived right here, the first and second one. So our third equation we are going to use the first and second um, and solve taking VF in the first one and plugging it into VF in the second one. So I'll go ahead and rewrite the second one. Delta D equals V initial. But instead of putting VF in here, I'm going to put V initial plus AT in for VF because those are equal. Plus V initial plus AT over 2 times T. So we're going to do a little bit of algebra here. Um, so VO plus VO is 2VO plus AT over 2 multiplied by T. Next step of algebra, what I'm going to do is divide by 2, divide both of these factors by 2, and then multiply both of these factors by T, doing them at the same time. So delta D equals, so 2VO divided by 2 is just VO multiplied by T plus AT over 2 is the same thing as 1 half AT multiplied by t gives us a t squared. Here's your third equation right here. Our fourth equation, Vf squared equals Vo squared plus 2a delta d can be derived from the first and second once again, but this time solving for t. So I'm going to take our first equation, Vf equals Vo plus a t. I'm going to solve for t. I'm um, going to subtract VO on both sides. VF minus VO equals AT. Divide by A on both sides. And we are left with T equals V 
VF minus VO over A. I'm then going to substitute this T into the T in number two. So delta D equals VO plus VF divided by two times T. So I'm taking this T and plugging it in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the little bit of algebra that is required there. So if I continue, I will get delta D equals V initial plus V final divided by two multiplied by VF minus VI, VO over A. VF minus VO over A. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the denominator here. I'm gonna say delta D is equal to one over two A multiplied by VO plus VF times VF minus VO. And taking you back to algebra one, I'm going to FOIL this. So I'm going to get delta D equals, so keeping one over two A here. The first, multiplying the first ones together, VO, VF. Multiplying the outer ones, negative VO squared. Multiplying the inner, plus VF squared. And multiplying the last ones together, minus VO, VF. Okay, well VO, VF minus a VO, VF is just zero. So these ones will cancel out. So we're left with delta D equals one over two A times negative VO squared plus VF squared. I don't want my 2a in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2a. The ones on the right-hand side cancel. 2a over 2a is just 1, so we're left with 2a delta d on the left equals negative vo squared plus vf squared. Our final equation actually has vf squared by itself on one side of the equation, so I'm going to go ahead and just add my vo squared on both sides. You're left with vf squared equals VO squared plus 2A delta D. So I'll go ahead and rewrite that. VF squared equals VO squared plus 2A delta D. And there's your derivation. Often you should know that delta D is equivalent. Delta D is equal to delta X and VF is equal to V initial. I am accustomed to writing it like this. However, the AP exam writes, I mean, I am accustomed to writing it like this. The AP exam writes it like that. So just so you don't get too confused, they are the same thing.